it's, uh, you know, of course it's his fault. He's used what he's done. But we promoted the invasion of yes, Ukraine. Yes, and very interestingly, once again, 10 years ago when I predicted this, by the way, I'm the only person in British politics that predicted what would happen. And of course, everyone said I was a pariah for daring to suggest it. Mr Farage insists he's been consistent in his views. I stood up in the European Parliament in 2014 and I said, and I quote, there will be a war in Ukraine. Why did I say that? It was obvious to me that the ever eastward expansion of NATO and the European Union was giving this man a reason to his Russian people to say they're coming for us again and to go to war. Labour's Shadow Defence Secretary John Healy said the comments were disgraceful and accused Mr Farage of being a Putin apologist. The former Tory Defence Secretary Ben Wallace claimed Mr Farage was refusing to see Vladimir Putin for what he is. As a leading champion of Brexit, that subject also came up tonight. The cab driver who bought me here said, you tell Nigel, I voted leave and I regret it. Yeah, because people like well, me that is are no better off. I'm afraid that is what the Conservatives have done with it. And that's why... Well, it's not all else's fault. If you put me in charge, it would be very, very different. Okay. Well, well, they didn't do that, did well, they? Let's, let's imagine and, you and, in and charge. And the Conservative Party yeah. never believed in Brexit. They never believed in it. 